I've all set up now to demonstrate, but not explain the secret of, the Panama rope effect. And Professor Collins, Ted Collins of Mecca Magic in Bloomfield, New Jersey, has also combined the Panama rope trick with another of his effects called the four-in-one rope trick, and we start off with that. I'll just demonstrate it now and show you what the effect is. The effect is that we have four ropes tied together at two ends with two large knots. I'm going to uh, count the ropes because I'm sure you don't trust me. So we'll just make sure that we actually have four ropes. That's one, two, three, four ropes now tied together at one end with a large knot. And I take the magic pair of scissors. I have to use scissors because I can't say scissors. We take the magic pair of scissors and we place all of the ends of the rope on the pair of scissors like this and give one great big, oops, moving ends here, one great big cut like that. And the idea is I'm going to try to cut four ropes into one great big long rope and a lot of little souvenirs, and that's what I've done. Four ropes to one, that's the first of Professor Collins's rope effects. And now he goes into what's called the Panama rope effect. This is, is explained in the Tarbell Course of Magic, if you're lucky enough to own one of those volumes. At this point, I'm going to do what seems to be the standard cut and restored effect, but watch. It's a little bit different. I'm going to get the center of the rope. Now, is that the center of the rope? You saw the other effect. Is that really the center of the rope? Let's look. Yes, it is. That actually is the center of the rope, or pretty close to the center. I'm going to do the exact same thing again. I'm going to take the center of the rope. Now, I'm going to, there is the center of the rope. No trickery, nothing suspicious. I'm going to take the center of the rope, and I'm going to cut the center of the rope just like that. I'm going to then tie this rope up that into a large knot. Now we have cut the rope into two pieces, but before we had four pieces, and I'm explaining how to cut four pieces into one piece, so I'm going to make a little loop in the rope right about here, and I'm going to make a little loop in the rope right about here. And now I'm going to cut the rope here and here, and in so doing, I have now cut the rope into one, two, three, four pieces held together by one, two, three knots. Now I'm going to explain how the effect is done. The idea is if you can cut a rope apart with scissors, you can cut the rope back together again, providing you use the exact same pair of scissors. Excuse me, I mean scissors. Now we're going to take the rope and place the large knot on the end of the rope, place the other knot on the end of the uh, scissors, scissors, and then I'm going to place the last knot on the end of the scissors, and with one great big cut, we will again have cut four pieces of rope back together into one great big long rope and a lot of little souvenirs. Thank you. Oops. A mistake there. Well, knots to you. That's the Panama Rope Illusion by Professor Ted Collins. I'm sorry I can't explain it now, but he is one of the trustees of the Whiskies, and he'd get after me if I explained his trick on television.